Anthony Hartwig here with a Cardinal Mooney Volleyball Coach's Corner with someone who we've been talking to a whole lot this sports season, Tony Shaheen, back for another season of coaching another sport, and this time it's volleyball. Coach, thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. Thanks for having me. All right, let's talk about last year first and some of the things you reflect on from last year's volleyball season and some of the things that these returning players are going to lean on from the experience of last year coming into this year. Um, Yeah, last year was a good season. Um, I think that we started pretty strong. Um, It was an adjustment for all of us. I stepped into the head coach role for the first time. And so even though I've been there before, it was still an adjustment for all of us, a new coaching style. Um, We picked up some girls who were transfers last year. We had some new faces. Um, And so we changed a lot of positions. And so I think last year was a good year to learn about like making adjustments on the fly. Um, We dealt with some injuries in the second half of the year. We dealt with losing those transfers in the second half of the year. And so people had to shift around a lot. And so I think based off of last year, if there's anything for the underclassmen to have learned, it's just to always be ready to play. Um, be ready to adjust and hopefully they're a little bit more hungry for competition this year because I think we didn't compete as well as we wanted to at the end of the year. As we turn our focus into this season, uh, I want to do kind of a meet the team segment where you go through the roster, you tell us who some of the big names of this team are, who are the, some of the new faces that Cardinal Moody fans should be uh, ready to see. So go over your roster and give us a little bit of a meet the team segment. Yeah, so returning is senior Amara Anderson. You'll hear her name a lot. Um, She will be back as an outside hitter. Um, We have another senior, Maria Pecchia. She has played just about every position for us um, in her four years at Mooney. This year, she's going to step up and be our libero, and she's just done a really good job of defense this year. We have utilized her as a hitter in the past, and so we like that she can be like an offensive option as well as the anchor of our defense. Um, Katie Frama and Angeli Blasco are seniors, and they will be defensive specialists. Nina Santizi is going to be a right side hitter, but she has also gotten some setting reps this year. We've kind of experimented between a 5-1 and a 6-2 because we did graduate Addison Stacy, so we had to replace that setting role. Um, but she's starting right now as a right side hitter, but we are glad to have her just in case we need her for setting reps. Um, Jada Lane is back. She's a junior. She will be in the middle. She had a fantastic offseason in club, and so we're really excited to have her. Um, we picked up a girl from Canfield. Her name is Brinkley Bear. Um, she is going to be an outside hitter, and she's just been a fantastic addition for us. She is super consistent, super controlled, um, has a great arm swing, and so we're really looking forward to utilizing her. And then filling that setting role as a sophomore um, Natalie Blasco. She has grinded all off season. She will run through a wall for a ball. And so she has kind of proven her point that she wants to be the setter. And so while she's a little bit inexperienced varsity wise, um, she's done a fantastic job so far this summer. And we have confidence in her that she'll grow and fill that role perfectly. When you say Amari Anderson, one thing comes to mind and it was the best highlight on YSN last year, the foot save. So oh yeah. <laughs> we're expecting really big things from her and the rest of your roster. When you look at, you know, a lot of um, big leadership that graduated last year that you're going to have to kind of find a way to f- fill the hole with, who are going to be some of the big leaders this year that you're going to be leaning on? Um, definitely Maria Pecchia. We have told her that we were, were looking at her to be our captain. Um, she is the first one to be pretty vocal. And so we need somebody like that, who's not afraid to kind of be like, no, this is the way that we do things. This is the way that, you know, we, the expectations that we have, like following balls to the line in practice, getting on the floor in practice, she kind of holds them accountable really well. Um, But then I think just like leading by example, we're relying on Amara and Jada. We talked to both of them individually and told them they're going to be the centers of our offense. Brinkley is a fantastic addition, but she's new to this team. And so to, kind of catch her up to speed of the way that we do things at Mooney. And so we need Amara and Jada to lead by example in that aspect. When you say catch her up to speed on the way we do things at Mooney, that opens up a great next question. What is the Mooney way? What are you trying to instill as a culture now in your second year, trying to, you know, glue that culture together and and hopefully that it, that it's sticking. What's the, what's the Mooney way in your, in your perspective? Um, The biggest thing for me is just hustle. I just think that no ball is dead unless you want it to be dead. Um, And so we can control things that we can control, but there's going to be out of system balls. There's going to be bad passes. And so 
there's no reason that the five other people on the team need to give up on that ball if it's not necessary. Um, and there's not many circumstances that I do find it necessary. That's just one of my things that I'm really strict about. Um, and so just, just overall hustle, just getting on the floor and grinding for every single ball. And we're going to have to compete. We're going to have to be scrappy. We have a hard schedule. And so if we can at least know that we're going to lay it all out every single point, then I feel like we'll have a good chance at any game. And bring back the foot save. Yeah. Hustle. No ball you is dead. Know. You might need <laughs> <laughs> You do have a hard schedule. Mooney always has a hard schedule no matter what sport you're playing. Talk about your schedule that, that is coming up this year and some teams that you're so excited to, to, to kind of test yourself against. Yeah, um, our conference is a little bit smaller, but always in the conference we look forward to the Ursuline game. It's just a huge rivalry no matter what sport it is. Um, but we know that they have a good team. We saw them this summer, and they have a ton of seniors. And so we are really looking – to compete with them and to, to take two away from them. We have split the conference with them for the past couple of years. And so we want to finally be able to pull that away. Um, obviously we're looking forward to the big D one schools of Boardman, Canfield, Fitch. We always play them, but I saw a lot of teams this summer that I'm really excited to compete with. I mean, we did all summer. It was always like back and forth. And so we're super excited to see like Western reserve. They have a strong team. Columbiana is scrappy. Um, South range is super good. And so, we are just honestly excited for every game on the schedule. Obviously, Crestview is the big one in our division for tournament, and we are hoping to compete with them. I know that they have unbelievable talent at their school. So just testing ourselves all season. Honestly, every game should be good competition. You get to play teams like Crestview, South Range, et cetera, that are going to pop up in your district. Uh, how beneficial is that to go out and play more than most teams that have bigger conferences? You get to go out and kind of explore your district and explore – the really good volleyball in the area a little bit more than a lot of other teams. Well, how does that help you when you get into tournament play? I think it helps us immensely. I'm honestly kind of grateful that we have a smaller conference um, because we're able to either test ourselves with bigger schools and tougher competition, but also have a good mix of having schools that we will see in the tournament. Like I think we're going to Berkshire this year for a try match. Um, and so we don't really usually get to see schools like out that way that we might come across in the tournament now that they're like bigger districts. And so it's just good exposure for the girls. I feel like it keeps them ready. And then it's also helpful when I have to seed teams and stuff like that. I, I have a little bit more exposure rather than just going off of like max preps or game scores from before. You have a few weeks left before the start of the regular season, a lot of scrimmages, I'm sure a lot of, a lot of hard practices in your future. What kind of things do you want to see your team do and get to before the start of the season? Um, I just really want to see a strong emphasis on wanting to compete. I want them to come in the gym and not kind of wait for that first serve to come across the net before we decide to like turn it on. I want them to turn it on in warmups. I want them to walk into that gym and just be completely ready and have the mindset that they want to just come out and beat the other team as much as possible. Um, we have a scrimmage tomorrow. And so that's kind of what we said at the end of practice today, before you come in that gym tomorrow, I already have that mentality that it's a scrimmage. Yes, but it's going to prepare us for our games. And next week we have absolutely loaded scrimmages um, with good competition. And so we just want to see an increase every single game where I feel like last year we started strong and we kind of took a, a little bit of a downward spiral there that we didn't need. And so this year, we just really want to put emphasis on competing every single game and working to improve every single game. As a coach, what's one thing that you're seeing out of your rosters already that you know, like, this is going to be a strength of my team. This is going to be something I can lean on every night that, that I know is going to be there. What, what, do you, what do you think that is for your team? Um, I honestly think it's the team chemistry. I feel like everybody this year is super positive. Everyone is looking forward to volleyball season. And I think our seniors are great. Our seniors have adapted to we have a lot of either new faces or younger girls who don't have the varsity experience kind of stepping up for the first time and I think the seniors have done a really good job of kind of taking them under their wing like making them feel comfortable making them feel welcome um, allowing them to make mistakes in an encouraging way like teaching them off of their mistakes and so I think that they've done a great job the chemistry is something I look forward to I look forward to our height this year I still think that that's always been something that I thought we have had a strength of um, between Jada and Amara Brinkley's pretty tall. And so I think that we should just be an offensive team, but I feel comfortable with our defense too. I mean, it's mostly seniors. So we're looking forward to them just being the anchors of the team. So 
overall, I, I am feeling good. I just want them to step up and embrace it. What's one thing that you hope that you can consistently improve at, improve at, improve at as the season goes on? Um, consistency. I really think sometimes that we can be our own worst enemy. Sometimes we're not even making teams work because we're making errors as like serving in the net or just making decisions that just don't need to be made. And so I really just want to see us be consistent and challenge the other team as much as possible, put the pressure on them to make the mistakes and not the pressure on ourselves to make the mistakes. Let me let you shine a light on your coaching staff and the people that you've put behind you that make this volleyball program what it is. Who are the people that deserve a shout out uh, making this volleyball program what it is? Um, this year, I have Mackenzie Reese as my assistant varsity coach. Her and I played in high school together. She went on and played at Worcester, and she coached with us a couple seasons ago, but now she's back, um, and I'm super excited to have her. I have Lauren Markovich is my JV coach, and she was um, one of the assistant coaches last year, so we're happy to have another familiar face back. That's just our staff. There's just three of us, but behind the scenes, I mean, obviously, Carl Pelini does a great job, and we have Michelle Bova, who's our athletic secretary, and so they're they're super helpful in everything that we do too. All right, you got to give Moody fans a shout out on the when your first game is and when the first time they can come watch the Cardinals in action. Yeah, our our first three games are on the road, unfortunately, but um, our first game is at Springfield on August twenty first, and we are looking forward to that. It should be a great season opener, and I'm sure there'll be good competition. So, yeah, definitely come out for that. <laughs> That just means the anticipation for that home opener builds and builds and builds. Yeah. And your fans are going to be there Canfield in droves. The home opener. We're excited for that. Who's your home opener? Canfield. Oh, man. Yeah, it'll be a good one. Battle of the Birds in Mooney to open up the, uh, yeah. the home slate. Coach, we want to thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. We wish you the best of luck this year. We can't wait to talk to you again real soon. Thank you so much.